Welcome back, this is Johnny Walker with Red Zero Gaming, and today we're going to do a little team deathmatch on Quarry. Um, I think I go 20, yeah, 28 and 5. Um, we're going to be using my running gun class makeout, which is at the moment the P90 Silence, the USP 45, um, a throwing knife, stun grenades, and uh, for perks I got uh, Marathon Pro, Lightweight Pro, and Ninja Pro. Now this map is awesome for uh, run and gun because you can pretty much run along the, the perimeter of the map and just ream everyone. Um, I mean you have a little bit of a problem sometimes with the people going into the buildings but really you can just run around the perimeter and just get all sorts of kills. So uh, this map is actually one of my favorites. Now, I actually like to uh, stick to kind of this side of the map. You really don't have to deal with a whole lot of traffic but you always get a few scrag or stragglers to come through here. Um, pop in this building you can you can clear everything from here um, but I definitely like to stay away from that top left corner like what we're looking at right now at that top of the hill I like to stay away from that uh, that's kind of a death trap it's a real high traffic area a lot of a lot of frags a lot of explosions exploding barrels crap like that I saw I try to avoid it at all possible um, but I do like to run through these buildings every once in a while because you'll like that you'll catch someone up there camping and uh, trying to snipe out of the top of that tower. Um, you can also shoot through the bottom of all these grates, so there really is no need to go up on the you know up any of the stairs. You can shoot them all through the bottom of the grate and then walk out of the building and before they try to come back in and trap you from where you were. This guy he just wasn't paying attention to what was going on. So. I believe I go 20 and 1 before I actually die. So. And uh, for kill streaks, I'm running with uh, uh, Predator Missile, Harrier Strike, and Pave Low. Uh, just because of the fact you can throw out your Pave Low, your Harrier Strike, and then you can run around the map and still kill people at the same time. Um, it's really convenient. Um, I'm finding that people aren't really. Uh, Die into the chopper gunner a lot. Everyone's kind of getting smart about it, staying inside whenever you get the chopper gunner. But uh, for some reason, they seem uh, they feel safe to come out when I got a Pavlo and a Harrier out at the same time. But uh, that's besides the point. And, uh, I'll take advantage of it. And we'll just call them both out. And just let it uh, do its job. I mean, a lot of your a lot of your kills will come from your kill streaks. So I. I don't know, the chopper gunner just hasn't been doing it for me lately. I tried to go back to it here a day or two ago and it just failed miserably. I think I got like five kills off of it. So I'd rather use the pave low where it's going to get me five kills and then let me kill five people at the same time. So uh, I'm definitely leaning more towards the, the non-controlled kill streaks. Except for well, the predator messages. But, but you see right here you just got people Standing around, shooting up at the air, at Harriers with their little SMGs or assault rifles. Um, that's pretty, pretty ignorant. <laughs> Unless you're gonna shoot it down with a rocket, get out of line of sight of the thing, or run. Like if you're gonna run past an open area while one is out, wait for it to turn around. Um, don't run out there when the Harriers pointed straight at you. I mean, it's kind of common sense, guys. You know, that's something you don't do. And, uh, you'll die a lot less because of it. Um, for this running gun class though you you see I try to uh, try to stay away from my teammates and uh, try to go the opposite way because normally when uh, you know everyone's gonna go to where the the red dots are on the map so when your team's over bunched up and they're all firing you know they're the enemy team's naturally gonna be drawn towards that so you just go the opposite direction and you flank them from behind and the easiest kill is to shoot someone in the back, so and that's always a good time. So, uh, I mean, that's basically all I try to do with this class is just flank people. But uh, I mean, you'll get into a lot of frontal confrontation, especially with people trying to do the same thing you are. So, I mean, you get uh, get them kills from the other running gunners that are trying to uh, do the same thing, but. Uh, you just gotta be quicker on the draw and uh, you'll find that it works out really well so I mean this map is just excellent for flanking people because it's all line here is like a big circle and it's got a 
you know, very few paths in between. There really isn't a lot of places you can, you know, hide real well without being seen. So I'm definitely, uh, definitely think this is one of my better maps. This map is pretty cut and dried as far as uh, its, uh, I guess, traveled, highly traveled areas are. I mean, it doesn't take long. You, know, you can play a match or two on it. You can figure out where everyone goes, where everyone travels, and where people like to hang out and try to get kills. And so take advantage of it. Like right up here in this middle part, um, run around this outside edge here. You'll get a lot of kills right here in this area. Um, you can also... I'd like to stay away from it, but right up here, straight ahead of me, right here in this area, a lot of people like to rush this too, so, I mean, that's another hot spot, you know, you might want to just you know, chuck a grenade in there every now and then, and uh, you'll usually get a few kills, so, just use that, but basically I'm just running around with all the high traffic areas, just trying, you know, trying to get kills, get behind the enemy, and right there that sniper come out, I was hoping to get the double kill, but, uh, he knifed me before I got him, so you know what happens. You're gonna die. Um, so I mean, don't be afraid to die. I mean, you have to get out. You have to take risk. Um, unless you're trying for a nuke, you know there really is no, you know, no point in being extra extra cautious. Um, I know I'm a little more cautious whenever I get uh, like my predator missile. I'm cautious through the seven or the five to nine kill streak. And then once I get that ninth kill streak and get that pay flow up in the air, then I don't care. If I die, you know they may have did me a favor, and I might be able to reset the kill streaks again and uh, call out another Harrier. So, I mean, once you're past your your kill streak, I mean, all you're working on really is your kill to death ratio, which it's not really all about the ratio. It's about how many points you're actually worth to the team. Someone that's uh, ten and two isn't going to be worth as much as someone that's 20 and 10 and that's a 2 to 1 kill death ratio so keep that in mind and this is Johnny Walker and we'll see you next time